Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bloodborne. So, hello, everyone. I'm playing Bloodborne. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm Dan Jones. I'm one of the artists on Extra Credits main series. Uh, I'm not the same Dan that is playing through Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. Um, I did the Nuzlocke challenge, so you might know me from that. If not, hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. Dan Floyd, who is currently running the Dark Souls series, has played through Bloodborne and has kind of given me the opportunity to play through Bloodborne because I have played through Bloodborne and done all the bosses. Uh, I haven't played any of the DLC, but I never really dove into it like I did with Dark Souls. So like a lot of the lore I'm not too sure of and I'm sure I missed some side quest stuff. So we're gonna kind of do that. And if not, hey, it's it's Bloodborne. Everyone loves Bloodborne. It's a good, it's, it's a good time. So let's, we're gonna... So let's get to it, right? We're just diving in. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. All right. We're we're in Bloodboard. Uh let's set up our character real quick. So the one stipulation Dan gave me about playing Bloodborne was since I made him play Deprived on Dark Souls 2, I have to go with the equivalent, which is Waste of Skin in Bloodborne. So <laughs> this will be interesting. Um, level 4. Okay, the rest start at level 10, starting at level 4. Um, okay, that doesn't look <laughs> terrible. Uh, it's not the same as starting at six in every category like in Dark Souls. I think it's six. Maybe I'm wrong. But we'll do that. I'll skip ahead through my character creation real quick. Welcome back. Alright, we got Lady Jingle. Everything's all set. Here we go. <laughs> this will be interesting. It's been a long time since I played Bloodborne. Uh, I think I played it right when it came out and I haven't really revisited it. I even have the DLC and still haven't gone through it. I think I already said that, but Oh, signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad. Okay, his eyes are bandaged up. I, I was wondering. Mysterious. Was this giant one blood? This scene is very odd to me. Like, it's cool. Werewolf covered in blood coming out for me. Awesome stuff. And I'm guessing this is maybe like the bad dream he's speaking of. Starting the hunt, I guess, kind of thing. But they also use that, hey, werewolves are weak to fire, pro tip. And then we got these little guys. Just gonna say hello. Hi. Hi. Hey guys. Hey, back off a little. Yes, a little. Gingivitis. You found yourself a hunter. Who's that voice? Who could it be? Iosefka's gun. Oh, 
Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do my best here. I really don't wanna. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should combine myself with controls here. I think, I think triangles, heal, spurs, item, roll, obviously. Right. Okay, that's how I do it. Cool. Okay, we're in it to win it. We are playing the Bloodborne. There's there's something way different about Bloodborne and Dark Souls for me personally, like other than you know, theme controls, weapons, what have you. Uh, I still get I still get antsy and like uh, nervous and like a tinge of uh, terror <laughs> when I play Bloodborne. It is so great. I love the way it makes me feel. But it's so it's so odd how like fun and relaxing Blood uh, Dark Souls is compared to Bloodborne for me. Maybe just because I've played it more. All right, we're off to a good start. <laughs> yeah, I killed him. I did it. Did the thing. Hey, look at that guy. Looks familiar, doesn't he? Is that the... Oh, I can't see with that specter tombstone. That could be... Our, uh, our friend. Maybe not. Maybe not. At the extra credits, uh... Tea party we had at PAX. Um... Some of the designers were playing through this, and a lot, of, and I think most of them it was the first time seeing or playing the game, and it was, it was just a joy to watch. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna try to not be dumb. This whole thing. Try is a key word here. Let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, <laughs> not like that. Oh, I think it, the back attack's gotta be from behind. Yeah. This is how we do. I'm gonna sing a lot. I sing a lot when I play Dark Souls, so that's gonna happen. Just accept it. Hello, Lego. Um, I'll try to talk too about uh, some of the areas and some of the like maybe trivia or stuff I know about it. Like, for instance, this guy right here. Ooh. You must be a hunter, and not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert. Hey, I'm Gilbert! Outsider. You're actually you an insider because you're an insider. Your island has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> it's a... This town is cursed. Good sounding cough. He's gonna walk that off, I'm pretty sure. A swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Pale blood use. Hmm. Oops, sorry. Never heard of it. Used to skipping dialogue. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing church. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace of the Healing Church's special blood. Or so they say. <laughs> Yarnumites don't share much with outsiders. Normally, they wouldn't let you near the place, but... The hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. Ooh, bells. Across the valley to the east of Yard, deep within lies the old main. Okay, I haven't yeah. That's your. 
Stay all right, Gilbert. You're, I'm sure you're gonna make it through this whole campaign with me. The lamp now transport you back to the hunter's dream. Let's go to the hunter's dream, guys. Get a weapon. That'd be good, right? Yeah. Uh, so the one playthrough I have done was with the threaded cane. I did that the entire uh, campaign. And uh, I kind of want to mix it up this time. I didn't really play with any of the other weapons, so I think I'm going to start with the cleaver. Because it just looks so cool. Maybe eventually going in the axe. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to kind of play it by ear, see what feels fun. And heck, if we... It, not if, when... That's right. When we get to the DLC, I definitely want to play with some of those weapons. Hey, doll. Just a, just a, just a toy lying in the ground. All right. Yeah, we're going with the saw cleaver. And my trusty pistol. What's this? Notebook received from the messengers. Oh, to leave messages. I actually have never done any of the summon stuff either, so maybe I'm, I'm not sure if there's NPC quests like uh, summoning wise in this game, like there is Dark Souls. Um, I, so I might look that up and see which ones are needed, but who knows? Aha! Uh -huh. You must be the new hunter. That's a good camera Welcome shot. <laughs> to the hunter's dream. This will be your home for now. I am German, friend to you hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to I'm sure it's just their a helpful weapons man. We'll never see again. and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. Oh, thank you. Very Even kind. That's a little creepy, but... Alright, thanks. This was what... Oh, uh, so you got your little inventory here. Your storage. Got a whole lot of nothing in storage, man. Uh, can we even do this? Well, we don't have any gems. I think we have to unlock this and the blood gems at some point. Just keep this dreadful hunter's dream. Halt the source of the spreading scourge of beast, lest the night carry on forever. Alright, you got it. We got our little little bath here. The bath appears to be linked to the nightmare, but there are no messengers. Those are our little friends. With the, uh, cool looking faces. And there's also some little buddies out here, but they're not here either. No messengers. Um, you can actually dress up your messengers too. There's a few items in the game that let you do that. These little guys, these are messengers. Is that please? Can I have some? Oh, yes, very good. <laughs> I love his little clap. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's look at Lady Jingle. Yes. Majestic. Uh, let's go to the sick room. Hmm. I'm actually excited to go through this again. There's a lot I don't remember. Uh, there is one beast early on that I know is going to give me some issues. Uh, no, I'll, just, I'll let you guys figure that one out. Are you... out on the hunt? Then I'm very sorry, but I cannot open this door. I am Yosefka, 
The patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. Mm-hmm. Infection. I know that you hunt for us. For our town, but I'm sorry. Please. This is all that I can do. Ooh. Now, and good hunting. I actually don't know what that is. Invigorates the senses, restoring a larger amount of HP. Oh, okay. Product of a slow and careful refinement process, this rare blood vial appears to be clinic original. Cool. Um, I know some stuff happens with Iosefka later on. I will wait for that to happen to talk about it. But I got my eye on her. I don't trust her. Um, I find it strange the way I hold a controller when I play the Bloodborne Dark Souls games. Pretty much only when I'm attacking, I have my hands in like a normal uh, position. And the second I stop attacking, I move so my uh, index finger is on circle to run. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know why. I, I think I just developed it over time. Anyone else have in interesting stories about how they hold their hands? Do you have anything new to say, Gilbert? Okay, cool. You stay you stay safe, buddy. Look at that cough. Have some honey water. Some hot honey water. Was that a arrested development? The ham water? I don't remember what that was. What could be not knowing reference? Hey guys! I like your shield. It's very helpful. All right, first potentially troublesome spot here. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, ooh, jeez, the differences between uh, um. Bloodborne and Dark Souls is all there's there's not as many weapons as there are in Dark Souls. There's not as many weapons in Bloodborne as there are in Dark Souls, um, but all the weapons in Bloodborne kind of have this like special feature. So right now we have this little cleaver, and we can extend it out so we get some more reach, but it's a slower attack speed. Um, the threaded cane, the threaded cane actually turned into like a whip, um, and there are a few like cool little things. There's like a great sword that turns into a, a, like a long sword. Um, I think there's even a long sword that turns into a hammer at one point. There's a bunch of cool stuff. I love the weapons, but like I said, haven't played with them, so we're gonna have to do that this time. And unlike Dark Souls, uh, shields are not your friend in this game. Is it I think there is one shield. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah. Uh, so instead of parrying with the shield, you parry with bullets. Because it's Bloodborne. I didn't know if that would be counterable, but I'm glad it was. <laughs> so those are visceral attacks. Hopefully, I will not uh, be screwing those up. Ooh, is there? Nope, that was just a sword. I thought it was... Some weird glitch. Hopefully I won't miss too many of those, because that's how you die. Because you kind of got to commit to that shot when you do it. Also, you have bullets. Um, I can hit up on my D-pad to make blood bullets, or I'm not sure if they have an official term. That's just what I've always called them. Um, you can have, like, five at a time. And they take a little bit of health, but, ooh, they take a little bit of health. Excuse my voice. Um, but they, yeah, that, that's all I was saying. <laughs> you can, you can make fake bullets out of blood. They take some of your health, and you can have five. They're kind of like a little backup in case you need them in a boss fight and stuff like that. At least that's when I use them. Are you that outsider? 
I am. Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. I have Girl Scout cookies. Thin mints. Are you that outsider? Okay. Uh, yeah, there's a few little uh, parties and groups of people you can talk to, but most of them uh, don't want anything to do with you. There's a little outsiders. We still have our favorite attack jumping from Dark Souls. Actually, is there a... There's not. Never mind. Um, there's also some different variety of attack. If you backstep and then go into an attack, it's a little different swing. If you run and then swing, you get a different attack. I think even if you roll and then swing, yeah, you get a different one as well. Um, which I know some of the special weapons have really advanced cool looking ones. I'll have to learn those with you guys, though. Who'd open the door? Open the door. With you. Now. Please, you? What if I was a kid? I haven't talked. Lousy off camera. Oh, I accidentally emoted. Now. Oh, yeah, how do I do that? How do I get the other one? Isn't it like a... Oh, there it is. How do I do that? <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll have to play with that later. It's the left side. Okay. Left side. Got it. We figured it out. I see you. I do know this beginning area pretty well because uh, there's a a good learning curve with the Souls games, so I feel like <laughs> once you get to a certain point, you know the in the beginning pretty well, just from like, oh, I died, gotta go back, oh, I died, gotta go back, oh, I died. Repeat that about 20 times, then you're like, hey, I'm pretty good for this one part of the game. And then you either get lucky or you know the rest of the game very well as well. I'm not sure how he, uh, threw me. Oh! That was almost bad. Oh, jeez! That was almost bad. That was almost death number one right there. Try not to die to these little mobs, even though there's a lot of them. I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> That's what this Let's Play's already become. Me not embarrassing myself. Um, I'll try to do this first episode a little longer, just because we were talking for a bit. Um, and I'm not sure how long I'll go on some episodes. You know, who knows? We'll play part here. How about that? How about we just do that? Everyone has a wonderful old time. All right, there's some guys with guns up here. We gotta take care of that one. Uh oh, this is bad. There's a dog over there, and uh, dogs are the worst. Hey, rude. Rude, sir. I feel like I'm streaming Dark Souls right now. <laughs> I, I have the, uh... Same insults. In this game. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of that. Ah! No, no! Woo! Um, another feature of Bloodborne that's different, you might notice when I take health in the top left corner. Oh, what are you doing? 
Um, there's like a little, it's kind of like an orangish yellow, uh, and then it slowly depletes over time. If you attack an enemy uh, fast enough, you can actually recover that much lost health. Um, so they kind of reward you for being aggressive in this game, whereas I guess they do to a degree in uh, Dark Souls, but definitely uh, you can you can luck out of situations by being aggressive. When I think you you can't get away with that as much. Some situations for sure, but I think just with the faster combat and uh, that kind of helpful nudge. Let's just walk up to this door. Nothing is gonna happen. Oh jeez, he's pounding on it. Um. Oh, and you might be saying like, hey Dan, you got some souls. Why don't you just go level? We can't. You'll notice in the top right, we have our blood echoes, which is our XP, our money source. It's souls in Dark Souls. Um, let's talk to these people real quick. I don't reckon you're from around here. Well, stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Oh, you poor, poor thing. Yeah, so let me in. Rude? They're laughing at me. Um. So yeah, that, that's those are our souls, top right. Uh, the one below it is a thing called insight in this game, which I don't know if there's really anything I could tie directly to it, like the Dark Souls. Maybe to a degree humanity, because I think you need insight to do like a lot of stuff. Um, but it's kind of your hunter learning more about the world and the great ones, I'm assuming, is a good way to explain it, roughly. I could be way off, uh, I'll try to do some research. Um, so when we kind of see, uh, spectacular events or uncover knowledge, you'll get insight. And you saw the doll, uh, which is, was literally a doll. Ooh, you see that? I did, I missed that shot. Oh, jeez. Not doing good. There we go. Um, you saw the doll was actually just a doll sitting there. Uh, so we kind of need to know there's more to her than that with insight. That's how, at least how I interpret it. And unfortunately, the only way to get, actually there's two ways, but normally the only way to get insight right now is to go right into a boss fight. Um, I think you get one for discovering a boss and then like two or three for killing a boss. There are some items though called madman knowledge and different varieties of that that give you insight. Little clues, if you will, into the world. Um, and I know where two of them are that we can get to before the boss. Uh, so that's our goal right now. <laughs> Dogs are bad, man. Dogs will mess you up. You'll be all like, this is just a dog. I don't need to worry about it. And then you're like, boom, dead. I think we also have some pebbles we picked up we can use to bait some people. But there's another dog up there. I really, I really just don't want to deal with him. Pinkaboo, hey guys, hey, yeah, there we go. See, I actually recovered some of my lost health back. with the gun. Rude. Okay. Oh, jeez. See what I mean? Dogs are back. In this game, most dogs are great. Never met a dog I didn't like. 
Hmm. I feel like there's something around here. Ooh, I know it's right up here. Where are you? Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna play the strategy of run. I hope they didn't follow me. There's two werewolves up there. I will. If you can see him, there he is. Yeah, and we don't want to deal with them right now, so we're not going to. I probably could deal with it, but I'd rather not. I'd rather wait till I can level and for sure bank these souls we got. looks like a shiny. Uh, the items I will call shinies, just to force a habit. <laughs> so if you're curious what I mean by shiny, the little pickups, which there's none on screen, of course. I say that, so... The little things I've been picking up, those are shinies. Now and forever, shinies. Okay, these guys I recall being a pain in the butt. Come on. I don't know if I'm just getting lucky or these intro guys have pretty big, uh, pretty readable tacks. I think it might be the later. <laughs> Because I'm surprised I'm doing half decent right now. I guess I am wasting a lot of bullets, so maybe that's not good. Hey, friend. Like, shouldn't have wasted two there. Silly. Ooh, he's alive. Like, I'm already sweaty. <laughs> Nothing's happening, I'm sweaty. Um, I think I'm thinking of a different area right now. Yeah, I definitely am because there's a similar area like this where there's um, rats and a uh, little like. I guess, what is this, like a trench aqueduct? I can't think of the word. Just some giant rats. There's one thing that I think it's so, like, simple of a graphical change that I like so much better is the, uh, the lock-on. Um, it's like a translucent circle in Dark Souls. And it, I think it just looks so good in this. It doesn't look bad in Dark Souls, but it was never, like, a thing that I was like, man, looks cool. I think there was a shiny. I was lied to. The dang reflections. Playing with my eyes. I'm just waiting for there to be one of those guys around the corner. I think there actually is one up here. Now that I think about that, ooh, can we? I think we might have to fall on it. Alright, I think there's a gap. Yep. 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 
good old brain reminding me about stuff. We got him. Yep. There's all those ladies down there. I think this is actually armor. Yeah, we can be like our thumbnail now. I'll have to make my own little costume change thing. Yes, now we are hunter. Lady Jingle has entered the hunt. Ooh, actually, no, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going this way. Actually. Where are uh, I? And now I'm only remembering where one of the insight thing is. Madman knowledge is. Hmm, I might, one might be up there. Play the risky walking off stuff game. Whew. And Okay, that is not what I wanted to do. I was just walking on one of them, wasn't I? Oh! Oh, that's one. <laughs> I was totally just walking on it. Oh yeah, there's a charge up feature in this game where Oh, oh, hey lady. <laughs> um instead of back attacking or getting backstabs in Dark Souls where you just had to walk behind the enemy and hit R1. Um you kinda gotta work for it in this one where you have to do a full charge power attack and then walk up to them and hit R1. And... That is how we would probably be dealing with a lot of stronger enemy skills. Hot dang. This? Ah. Nothing but messages. Also, I forget these are the messages. Um, hmm. I know what's that way. Actually... Let's go this way. We can open up a shortcut. Can go this way. Okay, rude. One of the little strategies I like to do is once I kill uh, an enemy, and if they've like hit me. Just keep attacking the corpse, because you might get lucky and still be able to recover some health after it. it's already dead. Either that's actually happening, or just the graphical effect happens. Um, like the particle will still be going. I've never actually got looked at my health at the same time as it's happening, so who knows? No. She does vomit. I thought they vomited. Oh, lady vomiting. I feel like this is an appropriate Halloween game to play as well. I was kind of thinking of doing something Halloween related for the channel. And I still might if I have the time. Uh, one thing I've really been wanting to play since it came out is uh, Alien Isolation. And I'm a sucker for the franchise. Um, I just haven't gotten around to play it. So, maybe. Maybe that'll happen. Look forward to it if it does. Or maybe something else will happen. Who knows? Gotta leave some entry for you. What? Oh! These dang pro dog things. The scariest part of this game, man. They are so loud and obnoxious. And they're always just like hanging up on a little perch somewhere. 
we are not dealing with the pig right now. <laughs> There's a pig down that way. Who's a real tough cookie. Yes. All right. Shortcut. Achieve. Well, almost. I gotta go through a few guys here. Every time, you just gotta get in his face and like, I hope he doesn't kill me. Oh yeah, look at that, it does recover health. I looked this time. Okay, better... Better spacing for this guy. Yeah, when you get in tight corridors, man, like, all bets are off. Woohoohoo! He almost... Did some good damage to me. Almost. Too slow, friend. I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm trying my best not to be like I'm doing well. Cause I know that's gonna immediately backfire on me. Um, let's just open the shortcut now, and then we'll go get the madman knowledge. I think that's the name of it, madman's knowledge. one of the uh, areas in the game that I came back to to farm repeatedly through my playthrough. Ooh. When the hunt began, the healing church left us, blocking the great bridge to the cathedral world as old Yana burned to the ground that moonlit night. It's moonlit night right now. Are they talking about tonight? The faithful night? Can we? It looks like suspicious behind there. I don't think there's anything there, but... Does look suspicious. You gotta give me that. You gotta do me that solid. Hello, friend. Oh, uh, what I was saying. This area is great to farm bullets and blood vials. Yay. Okay, now back to reckless stuff. <laughs> Uh, we're not gonna go deal with the werewolves yet. Still. Gotta get that knowledge. This game's beautiful. I apologize. I'm sorry. It's just that I don't trust any of them. Ever. Avert your eyes, I'm a monster! There's a dog right over here, too. <laughs> Just when you think, oh, there's a shiny. That's like a number one Dark Souls trick. There's a shiny in here. Totally safe to go grab it. Just go ahead. You're a hunter, aren't you? I keep forgetting they talk. I have the volume really low, so... <laughs> Do I know any safe places? Um... We don't yet. I've heard I have. Shutting up indoors isn't always enough. Well, if he wants to talk your ass, he wouldn't be in this mess. Hey, lady, I'm doing my best out here. I just killed that dog trying to break in. So what you Are you gonna tell me you're not? We will eventually tell her, uh, but we don't know about the church yet. You good for nothing. Go on. I love the lingo they use in this game. The old timey. Old is that like old English? What's I don't know the uh, term for the dialect they use. 
Oh, shoot. This isn't where... I guess one of them is this way, so I guess we'll get it. But... The knowledge I was thinking of was by some crows. There's a guy. Hello! I'm like so proud of myself. <laughs> Bodies down. Not kill ourselves. Come on. Pick up those goodies, lady. This one always gave me trouble. Hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here. She should welcome cool. the new hunter. Prepare yourself for the worst. Okay. There are no humans left. They're all but those people I talked to, surely they're now. people. Nothing could happen to Still them. Lingering about. What's Spoiler, been? something happens to them. A hunter unnerved by... <laughs> oh, sorry. No matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're little different from the beasts themselves. Shake off cape. What are you still doing here? Enough trembling in your boots. I'm sorry. <laughs> a hunter must hunt. Like, uh, a hunter. What are you still doing? Okay. A hunter must A hunter must hunt, guys. A hunter must break breakable objects by rolling into them. A hunter must uh, uh, slam blood vials into their thigh. Wrap down. Kill again. All right, I stop shooting at us. It's good. It's good. It's good when things stop shooting you. Oh, he saw me. You can do the dropping attack like you can in Dark Souls. I'm sure you've seen Dan use that a few times. Um, but I was not going to be able to reach that guy. Woo! I don't know why I didn't just shoot him. I guess saving bullets is not a bad idea, right? Look at this guy. He's just wasting left and right. That must be terrifying, watching like someone run at you full speed when you're like consistently firing bullets at them. Terrifying. I'm a monster. <laughs> um, do we have? Let's see what items we got. We got some mall tops. Okay, let's put that there. We got <gasps> just what I was looking for. Okay, we're gonna do. A, we're gonna have a little fun here. Try to at least. Because fun's important. We're gonna go. Ha! Ah. Then we're gonna go. Ha! Ah. And we're gonna fall in it. I'm accident.
We didn't, we weren't supposed to fall. In case you didn't catch that. It was a little bit of panic. But look what's on the body. We got that madman knowledge. We can go level if we want now. Um, but since we're here, might as well do some cleanup work, right? Oof, I don't like that we're down here, though. Now we gotta go up and deal with these guys. Oh shoot! I knew I was gonna get shot there. Okay. okay, things are okay. Still people firing at me, but you know. Having a Monday. All right, all right. I'm gonna. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. We're going in. Whew. You did pick that up. Yes. Okay. Whew. That was lazy. It's weird how some of the memories are like so burned in your brain that like you had trouble in this spot. I remember not being able to deal with those three guys. For quite some time on my first playthroughs. Oh, we gotta go around. Um, there is another weapon over by those rats that we dropped down on. We'll pick that up in a second. After we deal with some crows, I went to put my shield up because Dark Souls. Because <laughs> Dark Souls. Oh, that big ladder is what I. Last time. That was where the knowledge was. Okay. So, let's go deal with some rats. Uh, and I think we'll we'll level up and take on the cleric beast. And that'll be this episode. Just so we can uh, have some boss fight. I'll, I'll tempt it once. No! We're gonna kill it. We're killing it this episode. <laughs> you have my promise. And I... My regret that I just said that. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be a pain. Hopefully we can actually kill it. In minimal attempts. <laughs> Dan reminded me that death counters are a thing. And I really don't want to edit them, so let's just not die. Let's just do that. Even though I've already made several mistakes. And one of them is bound to cost me my life. But you know. Um, which side do we drop down on? The right side, I think. Yeah, because there's a shiny right there. Hello, rat. Yeah. Uh, so bloodstone shards take the place of titanite shards. So those are how we upgrade our weapons. So anytime we get something like that, it is very welcome in my book. I am a happy camper. I'm also glad to see uh, the fall damage is way less than Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 is what I'm most familiar with. Um, it's kind of the one I've spent the most time with in the Souls series. 
And uh, you can't drop like off of a step without taking damage. Imagine if these were just like what real life crows were like. Okay, there was the other one. I was right. We got some more party goers over here. Ghost me is knocking on the door. And we're gonna pick up this really important item right here, which will help us with another boss fight. Um We will find her. Mum wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, gotcha. don't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music box. The tiny music it box. It plays one of Daddy's favorite songs. And when Daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mum's so silly when I'm off without it. I'm going to take this time to uh, <laughs> plug one of my friends, uh, Sarah. She made a, a short little comic about that moment right there and the boss fight linked to it. And it's one of my favorite Bloodborne pieces. So I'll, I'll put a link to that in the description or I'll do it in the video. Um, but absolutely check out her work. I think, I think we did Everything, there's that one item on the plank. We'll get that some point down the road. Um, and we'll be coming this way, so we have uh, some werewolves to deal with once we get back. But first, let us use some magman knowledge. You can see now in the right hand corner, we've got some insight. Gain knowledge. I guess I could have read the item description before you said, we'll get more. <laughs> we'll get more. I'll be doing that as well uh, for not only my sake, but you guys. Um, I think some of the lore stuff that's in the Souls games is the most interesting thing about it. So we're definitely going to take the time and read through some items. Hello, and good look hunter. at that. I the doll am a doll. Is here. Here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood, and I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit. All right, let's channel well. them blood echoes. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Okay. First thing we're doing, because it's gonna kill me if I don't. I'm I'm getting all these to Ted. Okay. Now. Now let's level. Um Definitely pumping up strength. Oh man. We only have enough for two levels. Okay. Uh, we also have some cold dew blood, which is similar to the uh, little well, souls you pick up in you? Dark Souls. So let's use those real quick. We might have a few. Yeah. See, that's like a that's like a level right there. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Uh, 
And yeah, that's a good chunk too. Okay, so we might actually be able to get two levels. Welcome home. What is it? Because I'm Very pretty well. sure. Let me. Let's bump that. Yeah. We'll probably get that to 20, then start doing some other stuff. Probably, probably some vitality and endurance, and definitely skill down the road. Don't think I'm gonna use arcane. If we do, it's gonna be later in the game once I get some spells. And I don't really need Blood Tinge because I never rely on shooting things. If I recall, Blood Tinge is like how much damage you deal shooting. Did you speak with Garman? We did. Oh, Garam was, was the name of the guy in the wheelchair. Long, long ago, but now serves only to advise them. I'm sure that's all he, he does. obscure, unseen in the dreaming world. Still, he stays here, in this dream. Such is his purpose. Ah, the little ones. Inhabitants <laughs> of the dream. The messengers. They find hunters like yourself. Worship and serve. <laughs> the guy on the right side of the screen. She's like, Aye. Speak words they do not. Aye. But still, aren't they sweet? They are sweet. Ah, they Farewell, good may you. Uh, one cool thing with her is you can, uh... And she'll do a little emote back with you. Actually, let's switch this with... Hunter's Salutation. Ah, hello. Yay. What do you got for me? Consume insight and ring the beckoning bell to enlist cooperation. Oh, okay. So this is how we co-op. Um, how do we put down our sign? Uh, so I'm assuming there's kind of sign equivalents. Old Hunter Belt. Okay, that's, I'm assuming that's DLC. Wait, I think maybe... Okay, so that's the bell. Okay, we'll pick that up once we have more insight. We'll repair our cleaver. I don't think it really needed anything drastic. And I don't think we can... Ooh, we can fortify. Okay, awesome. Fortify it up. We did just fortify the right thing, right? Yes. <laughs> Saw spear is what we picked up, which is kind of like a longer version of the cleaver. I think I'm enjoying the cleaver, though, for now. Um, let's pull, so, alright, so we got 10, uh, items are automatically sent to storage in this game, so like, you don't hold like 99 of something like in Dark Souls, uh, so you can only have 10 cock Maltov, Maltov cocktails on you at a time. Alright. Pumped up. You guys pumped up? You feeling it? I'm feeling it. Here we go. Ow. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. And of course, if it wasn't clear, every time you rest at a lantern or go to the Hunter's Dream. Actually, there's no resting. You just go to Hunter's Dream. Um, all the enemies, just like the bonfire system. Great, we're going up this time. Oh, a shiny! Come on. You know, you, you know, you want to come out. It must have been so fun to design some of these creatures. Like, not obviously these little villager guys, but even the crow dog things. They're so freaking cool. Um, there's actually different versions of them later on in the game. Dang. 
what a fun job it must have been doing concept art for this game. There are some freaky things later I, I will probably gush about more than freak out about because they're so cool. Speaking of cool, here's one of them coming up. Nice innocent looking bridge. Nothing could go wrong here. Anytime you ask, where's the enemies? It's always a bad time. We have our first boss, the Cleric Beast. Totally dodged my, uh, Opa? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know how well I'm gonna do with keeping up with not cursing in this versus Pokemon. It's very bad. No, our first death. Oh, I was done. I got too confident. All right. All right. <laughs> got it out of the way. I just had it. I was. I think I was more nervous about my first death than I was actual game. <laughs> Whew. Okay, let's do it. Let's Get back in it, man. All right. Here we go, buddy. Thank you for destroying me. Just trying to go to the Ooh. Ooh. That's what got me last time. Shoot him. 
All right. We have slaughtered the prey. <laughs> Woohoo! And it's raining blood. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to continue on next episode. I'll see you guys then. 